Hey y'all, how everybody doing friends? We're gonna do a little foot treatment today, okay? So I got the water already warm. Got the water already warm. So I'm gonna soak my feet in this bucket. I got this from Avon. Footworks, the soak. So I'm gonna keep my foot in here for. It said, "Ooh, warm." For t ten to fifteen minutes. So just soak them for ten minutes. So after I soak them. And dry them. I'm going to exfoliate my feet. You put this all over your feet, especially where um, you got a hard, rough part of your feet. By me taking care of my feet, I'm still going to put it on my heels. And that's I know a lot of people have an issue with their heels. Okay, so I say mainly focus on your heel. So I'm going to use this stone. And I'm going to use this scraper. And I'm going to smooth it out with this. And I'm not a professional. I'm just doing what I do. And I'll show you my feet before I use this. I'm going to show you my feet before I use this to show you that I've been taking care of my feet. You know, so I might have to Google some things, but I'm just gonna do it my way. So if you wanna follow my way, you can. If not, to each his own. Everybody got a Google, everybody got books. You can read up on it and do it your way. So after I do the exfoliate, I'm gonna put the oil. And they say um, to use it, just massage directly on your feet. And if you wanna use it as a soak, you can, but I'm just using it afterwards since I, I'm already using this foot soap. I'm going to use this afterwards. But I guess they're saying um, you can use both because both of them from Avon and it's um, Footworks. So I put this as a soap and I'm putting this the last thing that I'm going to do. And I put oil. When I get out of the shower, I always put an oil, a lotion on my feet and I always use a pair of socks, wear a pair of socks. I never walk around the house, even though my floors are clean, I mop, sweep them up. My floors are not gritty. If I was to walk on my floors, my foot would not be dirty, but it's just that I always um, put some type of moisturizer, lotion on my feet after I get out the shower and just walk around with my socks. Um, when I get in the bed, sometimes I keep my socks on um, if I put a lot of lotion on my feet that way in the morning, my feet is nice and smooth and, um, that's how I take care of my feet. And it's always good to take care of your feet. Lady, this is, this is not for just women. This is for men as well. Men and women, because I've seen women when they wear a flip-flop or a heel shoe with the bike out, I see that the feet is kind of rough at the heel and men I see that as well so I know a lot of men and women and I sometimes see it in children and I think I don't know why it happens with a lot of people having heels like that and feet that's kind of hard I don't know if they walk around the house or outside with no shoes I'm not sure how that happened um, but I'm all, I, I, I think I get it from my parents. My dad, he never, he always had smooth heels, smooth feet, and he always wear shoes, some type of flip-flop, uh, tennis shoe. My mom, she always kept her feet up as well. Um, they don't do the soak. You know, I do it every blue moon. I do the soak, but, um, pretty much every night I definitely put some lotion and, if not lotion oil and then I put my socks on so but do I soak all the time no um, in my 49 years I think I got pedicure at least 
five times. And then I never, pre I pretty much did it just because, but I never was into doing that because um, when they use all this stuff, they soak it in some um, disinfectant, I guess. But for everybody to come in there and use the same thing, I always felt kind of weird about it. And so I didn't make it a habit of going to those places to get my, my feet done because they screw up my feet. It, throughout the whole day, the whole week, they don't get a new one. They use the same one. And I don't know what these people have. I don't know if they got some type of fungus, uh, some type of uh, uh, something going on with their skin that's contagious. So I, in my 49 years, I think I got my foot done at least five times, you know, and I always kind of felt weird, weird about it. But it um, relaxing, but I still always had that weird thing in back of my head about who else had it um, before me, you know. So I'm, I'm kind of strange when it comes to that part. So I kind of do it myself, you know. I do it myself, and I feel better about using my own stuff. I don't mind reusing the stuff that I only use. I don't mind reusing um, the stuff that I only use. I don't mind doing that. You know, when you're doing your feet, when I first did my feet, um, I guess I got the happy hands and I actually um, was scrubbing too hard. And I didn't need to, but I just was happy I was doing it myself and I started scrubbing too hard and my foot was tender for a couple of weeks. It was real tender to the touch. And when I put on shoes, um, it was real tender. So now, you know, lately when I do it, I don't rub and scrub as hard. You know, I just do a light scrub, just a light scrub and um, use the stone and use this just to take whatever um, off, dead skin off and um, just put lotion, a moisturizer and put on my socks and go about my day. You know, I don't soak my feet all the time, like I said, but um, I may have to Google to see you know, how much you should use this right here. The stone and use this um, to remove the dead skin. I got to Google to see, but I'm just going to do what I normally do, you know, when I do use it. But for the most part, um, I just get out the shower and put on lotion, oil, and socks. Uh, cocaine with a tentacel. Okay. Uh, probably... I'm done with my feet, so I'm just going to take one of them out. Check down the lights and snuggle up with the MLR Comedy Night Shift. Things heat up with that okay. guy at 11, 30, and 12. Yeah. Ah, that's right. Hey. Okay. Like that? MLR Comedy Night Shift. Weeknights. It's the okay. yes, feet. Over the years, people have asked me, how did your firm get so big? The answer is simple. We won. So I'm going to use this first. Like I said, I don't know if that's the thing you're supposed to do first, but I'm going to use it. Maybe it's because not many people hire them. In this business, you grow by winning. As America's largest entry law firm, we have more lawyers than any other entry firm. Proofs in the pudding. Size is our strength. There's only one more than one. Experience love and romance. He said, make sure you get the heels. He said, make sure you get the heels. Get more love sweepstakes. He said, in the way that you got a rough area. Look for the clue. The winner receives accommodations for three days and two nights at the Embassy Suites by Hilton on St. Augustine Beach. A dinner certificate, sunset cruise, and admission to nearly a dozen other attractions, including Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth. MOR's Get More Love Sweepstakes. Weeknights at 5 and 5 30. Now all this coming out, all that's coming out, and my feet was clean, and my feet was clean, all that's coming out. So I'm going to put it back in the water and the door rinse. African Americans develop cancer at a younger age, have more aggressive okay. cancers, and experience so I'm gonna use this. than the general population. While cancer treatment is evolving with precision medicine, who is being left behind? We know for many decades that some groups experience a greater burden of cancer than others. We can prevent it, we can detect it early. It's very beautiful when we find it early. I've worked with cancer patients during their treatment. All cancer patients have courage. So my treatment was about 18 months. I had three cancers and seven surgeries. But my son told me that mom, you're the strongest person that I know. Mom, this saved my life. 
During COVID-19, Moffitt is a safe place for your cancer care. Call now to schedule an appointment. The world needs heroes now more than ever. When all that came off the back of my feet, I don't know if y'all can see it, but let me get this phone. Academy has been I don't even know if you can see it. Oh. You see all that? All that came off my feet. All that. Ooh. You see that? All that came off my, my feet, and my feet is clean. So I'm telling you, I'm telling everybody, because y'all don't do this kind of stuff. It's going to catch up with you when you get older. I mean, I try to tell people about the maintenance of their skin on their face. You got to take care of it. You have to. Stop. And I know, like I said, I know they um put it in disinfectant, but just a thought of it. And looking at mine, I can't see using this after somebody else scrub somebody else. Mm -mm. And like I said, to each his own. Okay, I don't see no more coming off, so I think I did a good scrub. So I ain't gonna go too hard because too much not coming off now. So I'm not gonna go too hard. So I'm just gonna put this back in the water so I can. So now I'm gonna do my other thing. Witnesses named two brothers, so I'm gonna clean my other Eric Poole-Scott and Andrew K. Van-Scott, as the alleged shooters. I'm gonna use, the use this scrubber first on this one. I'm gonna just see which one I like doing the best. So I'm gonna use the scrubber on this one first. This is this the other one. Like I say, um, see the heel? I never had a problem with my heel, but watch how much, how much of that um, dead skin come off. I'm talking about to that dead skin, come on. Look at the size, the side of my feet. The side of my feet. On the side of my feet, I do not have rough feet. Never had rough feet, so I always took care of my feet, but watch how much dead skin gonna come off. All this dead skin gonna come off. It's amazing. All right, now tell me what you saw the night that Coco got shot to so that means that my feet gonna be even smoother. It's already smooth now. So by me doing this, it's gonna be even smoother. And then if you got a man, if you're a man, and you got a woman, if you're a woman, you got a man, when you get in the bed, and your feet touch his leg, or your feet touch her leg, it'll be smooth instead of some um, rough. Because I know I don't want nobody with rough feet um, touching um, touching my leg in the bed. If you got rough feet, if you got rough feet, put on some socks, though. You can't rub feet. Scott. Yeah, I think I'm going to start doing this at least once a month. And then if a lot come off on at, um, once a month, then I just start doing it every two weeks. The goal is 
to actually find out why this happened. We all know that this happened for a reason. I would love to know. It's a little difficult for me using my left hand because I'm not left handed. So. Very Dead skin. And like I said, my feet is clean. I always had clean feet. But look how that came off. Now imagine how soft my feet gonna be after I put on my uh, socks and put on that lotion on my feet with all this dead skin off. What were these guys thinking? Okay, you could be laughing now. But when you're, you're not going to be laughing in the year 2030 when you're sitting in jail still for what's happening here today. There's going to be no laughing now. Now, you want to tell me what happened that day? And try not to um, scrape the skin. Don't scrape the skin. Scrape the pink of your feet. Do not scrape your skin. You don't want to get no infection, scrape the skin, uh, brown skin or white skin if you're white. You don't want to get no infection, scrubbing your skin uh, off. Still dead skin coming off everybody, still dead skin. my feet. I'm trying to gather it up in this tissue. All this came off in more on my feet. So imagine if I didn't do this today. Imagine if I didn't do this in a couple of weeks. Imagine if I didn't do this in a couple of months. Imagine Imagine if I didn't do this in years. And that's why people have feet like they have. That's why people have feet like they have. Let me see. Let me see. Can you see it? Look at all that. Look at all that. And this, this, this caped up. Look at all that. That is a lot of dead skin that was on my feet. On my feet. That is dead skin that was on my feet. That's amazing. I'm just looking at it. That's amazing. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, y'all take care of y'all feet. Take care of y'all feet. And um, if somebody who got odors to their feet, never know that might cause an odor. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use a different towel. Clean in between your toes, make sure in between the toes is dry. In between, make sure the in between the toes is dry. Oh, well, I forgot to do something. I shouldn't have used this yet. I forgot to um, do the exfoliation. Uh-oh. Oh, that's new, so that's not coming out. Hold on. Okay, now this make your feet smooth. See, I forgot to do that. See? Got to reap all the benefits. Okay, so this got some, like, grit in it. So I'm exfoliating my feet. 
So it's like got a little grit in it. It's like a little grit. And it smells so good. Ooh. It smells like peppermint. Ooh. So I'm just gonna I'm trying to turn my feet around. I'm gonna sit this back in that water. Cause it's still kind of warm. Still warm not to be plugged up, so. Yes, ooh, this feels so good on my feet. Yes, mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the grit, but it's a little grit. That's how you exfoliate it. You got some little grit in there. So I think I rubbed that in pretty much all I could because it's getting dry now. So I'm gonna soak my this feet back in the water. My hand, okay. Now I'm gonna dry this foot off. And it's full weight this feet. Okay, so put a little bit, little bit in my hand and do this feet. Ooh. So ladies and gentlemen, take care of your feet. First of all, take care of your feet for yourself. Take care of your feet for yourself and then take care of your feet for your man and your woman. When they in that bed, they don't wanna see, I feel no elevated feet. They don't want to feel no elegant feet. Then when you, uh, the women, when you walk with your nice heels, our sandals and flip flops, and men, when you walk with your, um, I guess, shoes with your heel out, I don't know what shoes that's gonna be, but I guess a flip flop. You know, I don't too much care for sandals on the man, but flip flops, our beach shoes, you don't have no elegant feet. And I seen some feet that really look like um, skelly. And it's like, oh my God. And I was picturing myself having skelly feet, like scales, like dry scales, like you could pick, pick it off. And it's like, how you let your feet get that bad? You know? And this is the second one. That's the, the other feet. Okay? So I'm gonna put this in water. It might be this. I'm gonna reach my hands in here. Because this, this one a little gritty. So. I gotta use my hand for this one because it's gritty. That exfoliation kind of made it grit. Okay, all right. Okay, I feel that it's all off now. I feel that it's off. And what I would do, but I'm not gonna do it, not today, probably not right now, if I would have had another bucket with just plain water in there, I would have used that. But I'd probably just go to the bathroom real quick and rinse it off because I want my feet um what I'm gonna do is go to the bathroom real quick stick my feet in the shower and make sure well I should I don't have to do that the only reason I was gonna split, put my foot in the shower because this water is already used water. So that's, let me go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just came from the shower and um, stuck my foot in the water. Now, um, to have some clean, fresh water on my feet. I'm just gonna put this oil and put my socks on. I'm done. And ladies and men, you know, you can do this to your lady. And men, um, women, you can do this to your man. You know, something nice. Ooh, wow. What a difference. Mm -hmm, so smooth. Okay. Nice and smooth. Look at that heel. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice. The side of the feet. Nice and smooth, y'all. Nice. No roughness. Nice and smooth feet. And it's amazing how I thought my feet were smooth. 
but now I feel like a peach. Nice soft peach. Nice and smooth. So I can see myself doing this a couple of times a month. You know. I can see myself doing this a couple of times a month. You know. Yeah. Put it on top of your feet as well. Put it on top of the feet. In between them toes. Nice and clean. On the side. And there you got a nice feet. Nice feet. Mm-hmm. The heel nice. You know, when you wear a nice high heel shoe, you got a smooth feet. So men and women, take care of yourself. Take care of your feet. Take care of your whole body. You know? Take care of them feet. You know, them heels, especially take care of the heel. It should be smooth, clean, nice, clean feet. That's how feet should look on the bottom. Nice, clean feet. On the side, make sure them feet nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, with that being said, y'all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on my page. Okay? One love. Mwah.